everybody here tonight. Good to be here. Thank you. Try to sing. We've had a lot of singing. Uh, you sounded good, Praise the Lord. And we appreciate the Lord most of all because he's good to us. Amen. Uh, Brother Ronnie and Sister Jamie is out of town. They went to, uh, to Missouri and uh, to Sister Jamie's uh, sister, Junior and, and uh, Brenda, they come to uh, the mountains. They're going to get eat up by a bar. But anyway, <laughs> praise the Lord. Uh, they're up there. And uh, Sister Ruby had to work tonight, so I know where four or five of them are. But the rest of them, why, they'll just have to show up. Praise the Lord. We're glad you're here tonight, though. And uh, let's, have, let's have a good time in the Lord. And, let God just come down and bless. I want to talk to you about the fellowship tonight. Praise the Lord. And uh, uh, it uh, is one of the greatest things is to have fellowship one with another. And uh, the way you have that fellowship is is uh, have friendship. Now, uh, you know that, and if you are, if you're a friend, the Bible said if we are a friend to the world, then we're an enemy to God. But let me let me go here in the first chapter of St. John. I mean, not St. John, 1 John. The first chapter, little John over there. I'll read four or five verses here and from the fifth verse. And I want you to, uh, let me go back here. and Let me just go back here to the third verse. And I'll wind up reading it all anyway. But anyway, uh, in 1 John, the first chapter, and uh, we're going to, we're going to, let me read to you, I'm going to begin here at the, uh, at this, uh, uh, let me read here from the third verse. <coughs> that which we have seen, had declared we unto you, that ye also may have fellowship with us, our fellowship is with the Father and his Son, Jesus Christ. And these things write we unto you that, you, that your joy may be full. There is then the, is the message, I can't see the message which we have heard of him and declared unto you that God is light. And in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and we walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all sins. Let me read that. Let me read that last verse again. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. I want to, I want to go back to the scripture that I quoted here uh, in this in Proverbs 27 and 17 praise the Lord I, I want to I, I want you to hear this I like the version that the uh, version that brother Mitchell has on this uh, I, I want him I want him to read that verse to us and uh, in that, uh, uh, Proverbs 27 17 and this is a uh, uh, listen to what the if, if the version he is using says about this. Would you read that? As iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. Now, did you hear what it said? Mm -hmm. Iron sharpens iron, and one man sharpens another. Now, let me, let's, uh, hallelujah. You may be seated, but I want to, I want to talk to you about something. Praise the Lord. Listen to what he said. Ephesians 
Ephesians tells us, hallelujah, in uh, the 511, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful work of darkness, but rather reprove them. Now I'm going to use some scripture, then I'll preach to you. Praise the Lord. We have fellowship with God. Now, we, the Bible said that we cannot have fellowship with God and with the devil at the same time. Praise the Lord. He said you either love one and you cling to it or you hate, hallelujah, uh, one. And, uh, you know, you got to love one or the other. Do you love God? Hallelujah. Do you love God? Then you have to be godly. Now, well, I'm going to be slow about this just a minute. Praise the Lord. We have to learn to have fellowship with God. We can, you know, you know, people said, but Brother Walls, hallelujah, people don't like me because I'm uh, godly minded and I don't want to have anything to do with the world. Yep. Hallelujah. When the Bible says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. There will come a day when you will need to stay and be as close to God as you can be. You know, teaching from the book of Daniel, hallelujah, I think this is, this is real good, and I like it. But what if, what if Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that Mickey was talking about, what if they would have said, I'm going to do what I want to do. If I want to serve the, the, the gods that you're building, I'll just fall down and serve them rather than to go into the fire furnace. Praise the Lord. Sometimes when we serve the Lord and we walk up right before Him, sometimes we run into some real problems. Amen. People really, hallelujah, maybe they don't like us. I've had people in my life that didn't like me. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Have you ever had anybody like that? Yeah. yeah. It's almost a miracle that somebody didn't like me. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm bigger, smarter because I am, and everybody loved me. Praise the Lord. It don't work that way. Uh, just because somebody don't like it, that don't change God's word a bit. That don't mean that we got a fellowship with darkness to be. I have fellowship with sin. Amen. Sin is sin. Sin is a separation from God. Hallelujah. And we don't need to fellowship. Arm sharpen arm. One sharpen another. Hallelujah. You know what? If we have fellowship with, with our brother and sister in the Lord, it don't make any difference what the devil tells us. We'll go back and we, we'll, we'll say, well, I've got fellowship with God now. I, I, I remember whenever that I come to the Lord, I used to, I used to really fight to beat. And uh, back then I wasn't big enough to do a whole lot. <laughs> Hallelujah. But I tried it. <coughs> Hallelujah. I, I, tried, I tried anyway. Sometimes I didn't win, but I sure did give them a good fight. If I couldn't if I win, I'd run like a car. But anyway, <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen to what I, <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen to what I'm saying. But when I come to the Lord and I gave my life to God, I want you to know my dad told me something going home from church that night. I'll always remember. That's been 62 years ago. Praise the Lord. And he told me, son, you'll meet the devil before tomorrow. Yeah. It's over with. Amen. You will meet him head on. And you know what? I met the devil head on standing in the middle of the street. Praise the Lord. And I had to make up my mind, am I God or am I the world? Am I going to fight for the flesh or am I going to stand for God? I mean, I just got saved. And I, I, I wasn't a good boy. Hallelujah. I thought I was. I like most of them. You know what? Well, I'm as good as you are. Hallelujah. But I wasn't as good as you are. I want you to know that right now. I wasn't as good as most anybody. I don't care how low down they were, they're better than I was. But anyhow, listen to what I'm saying. The first thing I had to learn is I've got to find friends that serve the Lord. Yeah. Amen. I've got to, I got to sharpen 
I, hallelujah. I got to sharpen my, I, I didn't know anything about that scripture, but I, this was, this is the way I was thinking. I've got to be with friends that love God. Hallelujah. Or I will not serve the Lord because there's too many things in, in, in your life when you're a sinner that you got to get rid of. Hallelujah. I had to get rid of them. I had to, I had to get rid of those things. Uh, are you going to do it overnight? No, you're not going to do it overnight. But you can do it when you make up your mind. Yeah. I know that I get You know, several brother boys and you've always, a man, I was sitting in a restaurant today. One of Liz's brothers was sitting there. And I sat down and I hadn't, I hadn't saw this boy in years and years and years. And I mean, a long, long time. Uh, for probably 30, 40 years since I saw him. But he was sitting over there and he uh, looked at me and said, uh, uh, ain't, ain't you Brother Waltz? I said, well, yes, I am. Hallelujah. And uh, he, he told me who he was and I said, uh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, I, you know, I hadn't seen him in many, many years. But, hallelujah, he said, after I walked over to the that went up to pay. Uh, Why he uh, uh, asked Wilma said, "How old is he?" <laughs> <laughs> said, "Well, he's 81 years old. He'll be 82 his next birthday." Hallelujah! He said, "Well, I ought to know he had to be old because I've known him all my life." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, don't judge me by your age. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen. <laughs> There's one thing that I got on you. I'm closer to the Lord's coming for me than you are that's young. But learn how, I had to learn how to live all these years for God. The first thing I had to do is realize that God had to be number one in yeah. my life. Right. Praise the Lord. I married when I married Osi, little old fourteen year old girl. Hallelujah. And I married her. And the first thing that I had to do was learn that I had to love her. That she was my wife. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I didn't have to love her, but I had to love her or fight. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. So I thought, well, I might as well love her. So the next thing you know, I had a house full of youngins. <laughs> and I had to, and she made me love them. She made me love them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Hallelujah. You're talking about having a rough life. I have. It cost me a whole lot to get rid of them five boys I had. But anyhow, the thing that I want you to hear tonight, I had to leave, I had to learn a different person that I needed to be with. I remember, I remember that I, I, I would not never tell y'all what her name is, y'all, I don't think probably y'all, but she was tall and red-headed. Hallelujah. And I told her, I'm going to church. And I'm still going to serve the Lord. I'll wait for you. No, she died. <laughs> A long time after that. <laughs> Hallelujah. But I live with the one I was married to. Fifty-seven years almost. I had to love her to deal with her. Now I was nice, you know, and easy to live with me, but I had to uh, come on now. Hallelujah. <laughs> Which is easy for us to brag on herself. Eh? Praise the Lord. Clayton, look up here at me right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting there looking down at his toes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen to what I'm saying. I had to learn that I could not have fellowship with all the women around me. I had to have one wife. That's right. All right. <clears throat> she told me I did. 
<laughs> Hallelujah. You see, what are you talking about? Brother? I'm talking about learning how to serve the Lord. Yeah. Make up your mind. Oh, Ed over here's distracted me for <laughs> years and years and years. It'll be 43 next month. 43 next month. Got the best woman in the country. And he's grabbing and said, look what I got by going to the star of Bethlehem to hear you preach. <laughs> <laughs> you lucky devil. Yeah. Hallelujah, you got a good one. <laughs> I wouldn't trade it for two just like her. Ah, uh, well, I know, but he, she's, just, <laughs> she's repenting a million times for marrying you. But anyway, hallelujah, I'm going to work hard and I'm going to preach too. What do we need? We need to have fellowship. We need to learn how to have fellowship with one, with God's people, with Christians. Hallelujah. They will lead you in the right way. But if you have fellowship with darkness, yeah. it'll take you victory. Amen. Hallelujah. I can't do what I used to do. When I was a sinner, I had to I live like the world. Let me tell you all something. I made the devil a good servant, and I didn't tell nobody. It didn't make any difference with me. Hallelujah. I would tell you, after God had saved me, I can't live that way no more. My life was messed up, and I had to get it straightened out. Hallelujah. You see, the thing that you and I need to do is find us friends that are Christian friends. Yep. Associate with them. Love them. Yep. Let them be a part of your life. You'll be a part of their life. Praise the Lord. That's that's where that I if, if it's something if you think that Brother Walls is going to do wrong, <laughs> Hallelujah to satisfy anybody. I'm not going to do that. I never do that. Hallelujah. Say why? Because if I want to sharpen to be sharp, I'm going to get with people like Brother Mitchell. Yeah. Praise the Lord. People like you that love the Lord. I'm going to be with you. And uh, hallelujah, I'm not going out there and try to sharpen myself to live with God. If you, listen, the Bible said resist the devil. Yeah. Resist the devil and he'll flee from you. He don't want to know you. If you're a Christian, all he wants to do is destroy you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Whenever, whenever you and I, when we come to the Lord, I prayed. I prayed when I come to the Lord. I, I said, Lord, I've got to have a companion that that serves the Lord. Uh, I've got a lot of weakness, Lord, that I need. I need you to take care of. And God gave me a Christian. The night I gave my heart to God. There was a woman planted right in that church, young young girl, and I married her. Hallelujah! A few months after that, lived with her all them years and raised my children. We loved the Lord. We kept God number one in our home all the time. Hallelujah! You say, but but brother Walls, Hallelujah! Arm sharpen arm. Hallelujah! Yeah. You see. Your, even your conversations changes. Even your thoughts changes. you, you got to want to serve the Lord. Amen. I've always wanted. I've, I, he's been number one in my life. Hallelujah. He's been number one in my life. And I've had to. I've had to stand my ground. Hallelujah. I didn't preach because I wanted to preach. I preached because God called me to preach. And when he called me to preach, he wouldn't let me live, wouldn't let me live without it. I had to do it. But I've had I, I've tried to fellowship with people that I believe that love God. I'm gonna say something that gonna make probably make some of you you mad. Some of the worst people that ever lived are behind the pulpit. Some of the biggest crooks that ever lived called themselves preachers. Yes. Hallelujah. 
But I want to tell you something.